Hey guys, it's Matt Person. So I'll be going over question 45 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you're attentive, let's just dive right in. So this graph on the negative side, let's say like negative one, it's going to be because it has the absolute value sign. It's going to be the opposite. So it's going to from negative two to x, it's going to actually be like a little downward sloping, and from like 0 to 4, let's say, it's also going to be upward sloping like this. this. This one actually also has two ways to solve this, but I'm going to do the probability distribution way. So from negative 2 to 0, so from negative 2 to 0, this function isn't just x, it's negative slope. So this function is actually going to be negative x over 10. And because we're, trying, we're asked to find the expectation of x, we have to multiply this by x dx. And from 0 to negative, or 0 to positive 4, it is an upward sloping, so it's going to be x over 10 times an x dx. Okay, okay, so then this side is going to be negative x squared over 10, right, integrating. And this side is integrating x squared over 10, and then integrating this as well. When you take the antiderivative, this becomes x cubed over 30, negative, integrating from 0 to negative 2. On this side, you have x cubed over 30, positive, integrating from 0 to 4. So plugging in the upper limit, you get 0. Minus minus becomes positive. Um, negative 2 to the cube, that's just still negative 2. Um, negative 8, actually, over 30. And on the other side, you get plugging in the upper limit, you get 4 cubed over 30. And then plugging in the lower limit, you, get, you just get 0. So then this is equal to 56 over 30 which is also equal to 28 over 15, our answer, D. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!